Hi, this is uh, Gerald Fendekar. I'm sorry, okay. Excuse me? I can't oh, Can you leave a message for him? Yeah. Uh, if he wants to call back, uh, <coughs> Gerald Fendekar at. Uh, K-A-A-P. Bye. I still care about people, but it would be much easier not to care. Yeah, we have the fantasy of making a $5 million movie with Liz Taylor, but we'd make it on $400 and keep the rest of the money. No, but there must be other things you have a fantasy about. That's the fantasy. I'd like to talk to Don Monroe. I'd like to talk to Don Monroe. Well, it's, I, I, I'm not quite sure if I'm a power broker. It's, it's interesting to have enough power to say to some, a doorman at a club, well, wait till I tell Andy Warhol that you won't let me in. Welkom in het nieuwe programma van Radio Robotic TV. We hebben een hele hoop mensen voor u geïnterviewd en uh, spannend verhaal ervan uh, gaan we ervan maken. U ziet, we zijn hier op uh, 2000 uh, voet boven een uh, Amsterdamse pijl. Andy Warhol died last week. One week ago today, as he lay in a hospital bed following gallbladder surgery, Andy Warhol's heart stopped beating. His condition had been stable. No one had expected him to die. I was so shocked because one of the last times I saw him was New Year's Eve. He was sitting by himself at a bar looking very sad, but so sweet. And he just smiled at me. Um, Robotic TV uh, schuilt geen middelen om uh, voor u een spannend programma in elkaar te zetten. Ik zou zeggen, veel kijkgenot met dit uh, extravagante uh, internationaal georiënteerde programma. Hier is de call back Gerald Fenderkamp. v a n g e r k w a p at 219-1885. Of 24217. Ik bedoel, uh, het gouden volgende nu in Amerika is uh, die snavel. Ja. Ja, dat is, dat is uh, uh, wat snavel dus doet, dat is allemaal gedaan al. Hè? En, en dat is hoe houdt dat wel doen. Hè? Nu zijn ze anders gaat rijk. En nu zit ook, dus daar, ik bedoel, de ziel van een werk zit daar niet meer in. Ik heb het anders. I wanted to make a requiem for Jean-Michel and Andy. I mean, they were so attacked for their friendship, for the work that they did together. Uh, he died in 1988 of a heroin overdose. Uh, the fact is that uh, the Warhol Museum gave me Andy Warhol's wig and his clothes for David to wear. What's with the wigs? Oh, I'm going to give them to people for Christmas. You, you think that's a good present? Who, who wants an old wig? Yeah, sure. My assistant, uh, Greg Bogan, and some scenic painters, we painted uh, paintings in the style of Jean-Michel. Uh, so um, I did the best I could with what I had. Uh, maybe it's sort of a educational film in that sense, or some kind of a public service. Uh, and there was a one question like, was it really Bruno who told Jean-Michel that Andy was dead? Now, if I had a, a character that nobody has ever seen before driving the car and say Andy's dead, it would be a hell of a lot less uh, dramatic than if some character that's been in the movie that we're familiar with says it. So. No, please, please go. Baby, it's me. It's me. Oh, it's you. What a day. It's me. Was it that bad? What's the matter? You have been heard. Andy is dead. Wait for me. It's a quiet peaceful. And uh, you get away from all the drugs in New York. And the ocean is uh, uh, 
sort of the biggest abstract thing around. There's a lot of rocks here too. Yeah, the people who die in car oh, crashes. Oh yeah, is my favorite art is the rock art. They are. People just, oh, people who just dig up land and. Damn home! Oh hi, Jean. That's great, Frank. Can you, I don't know, whiz over here? I'm more that way. Oh, piss painting. No oh, piss painting, Jean. Oxidation on. Yeah, he's cleaning brushes too. I'm gonna do some more of these. Frank's been drinking this great Mexican beer and makes it go this great green. Why don't you paint on him yourself? I don't like beer. Of Andy, your sense of Andy. No, Julian helps all of us as actors, I think, um, by just allowing us freedom into pretty much how we wanted to portray. He had a take on the actual relationship between Warhol and uh, Basquiat, which was an insight, a very, a very useful one. Um, that there was a, a strong, possibly something that bordered on a love-hate relationship. In, in, in Andy's eyes. I put the, maybe hate's too strong a word, maybe a wariness on Andy's part. I think that uh, uh, Julian pointed out to me how affectionate Andy was towards Basquiat and almost like a mentor or a father figure. Like that. How did, you, how did you go? <laughs> and uh, so I didn't go much beyond just sort of having noted kind of what his spirit was, the way he moved and stuff. Yeah. And, uh, just his attitude. It was, it, was, it was more of an impersonation than anything else. That's how I sort of approach anything like that. to you and then I'll come back and tell you how to play rock quiz. 1027. Which Pat Benatar album's cover features a picture of her drummer's child? More clues coming up on Rock Quiz Pat Benatar Weekend. Brought to you by the U.S. Army. At first, I wanted to go hide someplace. I really wasn't sure I could handle it. You know, push-ups, sit-ups, people give me orders all over the place, but I adjusted. I grew up. Sergeant Alton Jones is learning a lot of things in the Army, but mostly he's learning about himself. paintings in general or no I just like painted walls what wallpaper yeah. no empty painted walls <laughs> well actually I like the best of all is, is before the painters come in and then the painters uh, just you know the person that just uh, patches up the little to be a power broker or to have a power broker Excuse me? To have a power broker or to be a power broker? I don't uh, understand English. I'm sorry. I'm a Dutch photographer for Amsterdam. I completely failed to in English. I make it snappy, It didn't work out at all. It completely didn't work out at all for me. I mean, I started here with Max and I started with $3,000 and I lost that. So uh, I finished my project on the street and I hope that things are going to work out uh, better tomorrow. So you have some idea. Okay. 
Yes. All right. Yo, I'm up to it and I'm down to it and I hate those who don't do it. I do it because I'm used to it. Bring me to it because I love to do it. Can you share the bottle? Right. Wil je niet roken voor de camera, Marka? Meteen de 20.000 mensen zitten te roken. Candy. Politically involved and gorgeous. Conversation topic. Um, flopping around a while. And the latest information is that uh, it seems that AIDS was created because of the uh, for-profit blood industry in the 70s. So we're finding that AIDS has actually been created by capitalism. You're not part of the discourse or part of the painting. Why? Why am I? I'm, uh, because you should see the whole modern world. It's just uh, being eclectic, take something from one, one one period or another and put it all together and then try and find something new. That's so there is no gateway? Be able to... Um, uh, no. Come on, what the fuck is happening? Go on, eh? <laughs> uh, is this an order or... Uh, or introduce yourself. <laughs> I don't want to introduce myself. I like other people to introduce me. Okay. Well, the business is yours, you know, why should I get somebody to introduce me, myself? You want to introduce him? Yeah. You know, why you do this thing? Just Politically involved and gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's also in Europe, it's become more and more commercial now. In the last five years. Or Europa heist America? What? Or Europa heist America? Oh, it's becoming more and more so. In economic terms, cultural terms and so forth. Is New York the capital of Europe? <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, New York is uh, what did you do before the capital of finance. What did you do before finance. you made uh, these uh, videotapes? All kinds of things. Well, I mean, this is also like this is like fast food. You know, you ask me questions that can't be answered. And so therefore the ideas are information, so we're basically dealing with information, we're creating information, we're making our livelihood off of information. So if you want to just, you know, if you want to sell out and make a big, make a quick buck and make a big buck, I mean now, now's a better time than ever before. But if you actually want to uh, roll up your sleeves and, and grapple with some, something, I mean you, now's the best time to do that too. I think, I think now it's sort of exciting times to be an artist. So, who made the, mo the most pay? And is he or she worth it? I, I guess Peter Halley and Jeff Koons have made the most pay, and uh, yeah, I think they're worth it in the long run. Uh, I don't think there is any such thing as the avant-garde anymore. To me, the most avant-garde thing is a, a television commercial because everything has been done, it's just a matter of doing it again, perhaps from a new perspective, perhaps with a new style, perhaps in a different color. Information, the gateway to tomorrow? Information, the gateway to tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I believe a lot in, in the fact that if we're at the verge or the beginnings of an information-based society, that artists have more possibilities now than ever before because the artist is primarily um, a dealer in information. I mean, still, I think that the best, the most important part of art is the ideas.
abstract art you know when you do if you have a crack and you put on white and stuff and then you put a brush on it and then you leave it or where the nails go in and you put the plaster on the nails so that the nails don't show up it's the look I like is that why you stopped painting because you hated paintings oh um, no it's no I, I stopped because I guess I bought a camera and then camera would seem to be so much easier than the painting. Not the movie camera or the yeah. Polaroid. No, the movie camera. People you know, must be wondering why we're sitting so close together in such a big car. Oh, you don't mind me sitting close, so close together because... Man uh, dies, man dies, the, all the way this, through it, it. It's better in the middle because if you sit on that side, that's where if you, you go right, right out through the window, that's the most dangerous spot. And there's so many car crashes in, in town. So you, you, I hope you don't mind. <laughs> this is an old you did sculpture. that. Uh... This is uh, two amethyst basins. They've uh, been glued together, so you can't use them. So they become a sculpture. I think they're very beautiful. Get nervous. That was the Pat Benatar album that we wanted you to conjure from your memory banks. So straight of a contrast. Oh, uh, yeah. But, but uh, well, actually, you know, I didn't, it wasn't the idea of the accident. Uh, I was thinking about, well, it all started with buttons. I always want to know who invented the button. Or who was the person ever thought of making buttons, or why they ever thought of buttons. And then I thought of all the people who worked on the pyramids always sort of wondered why, you know, whatever happened to them, why aren't they around? So I always thought... Now it's the strange thing about it. I think it's got killers now. It's very funny to... Uh, it's to like see how you can make all, all different kind of association without any... Uh, whatever you want. ...and crossing it out four times. He was really... And so just the generation talent. That's the way the show is made here. You can... Uh, Replace every object for another object without any, making any problem. Town has a hundred rooms. 
What are you going to do in the country? I'm going to go horse riding. Uh, oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh. I guess walk along the ocean because it's... And, uh, and uh, I never realized that... Uh, and that's the reason most of the Hollywood stars were all so great because that's what the magic they gave because on screen they really come out so much uh, better. What, because they have big heads? And they're smaller, yeah. There's, there's something about it. Tall people never really uh, make it uh, as well as the short people. The drag queens, because drag queens are people who just sort of dress up you know, for, oh, you know, like eight hours a day or something like that. And the kind of people we really use are people who think they uh, are really girls and stuff, so that's sort of different. But why do you use drag queens when you could use the real thing? Oh, I, I, I like the real thing better, too. Do you? Oh, yeah, I, I just, uh, you know, these drag queens carry on and, 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 uh, and um, uh, complain about uh, all their problems and stuff. They don't really know what, what girls go through. I mean, they, they've never had a period. But they take those those pills. I know, but they they've never had a period. They can't really tell. Started uh, started being what is called as a, a disparagingly among the people in the profession as a runner. I uh, sold paintings for an art dealer who had a lot of money, and when he needed money and didn't want people on the avenue to know, he would give me the paintings to sell to dump for him. And I would make a small percentage. It took me six months to make six hundred dollars. By that time, I had been insulted by so many people that I uh, kept doing it. Or hall that you won't let me in. I got into this because she wanted her own gallery, and she thought yeah, Danny didn't know what she he was doing, but she would go in. There. He is a real slick businesswoman. She's not really, she, you know, so she could do it. Uh, the, the early days of Nature More were, we were yeah. sort of a, um, a, a beacon on a hill or something, I guess. I mean, we were, the, we were influenced by Metro Pictures and the enemy was neo-expressionist figurative painting and nobody was really interested in like media art and what we wanted to be interested in and, and the whole East Village kind of happened around us and, and we didn't like it and now luckily five years later, um, Neo-conceptualism rules the world, and we've gotten rich. Tot uw klachten hebben of opmerkingen over het programma, schrijft u maar eventjes naar Radio Robotic Televisie in Amsterdam. Er komt alles voor elkaar. Ik zeg nu terug naar de studio in Rotterdam. And I give another number, which is two four two seven five one three. Zeg dat Steve Kables. Two four two seven five one three. Save the robots. Yeah, and ask him to call me back today. It's important because I leave tomorrow.
Dat is een koffie, dus ja, ik heb het niet gebruikt. Excuse me? Eens vanaf ik heb het ontstaan. Ja, both in New York. Oké. Een beetje te filmen, jongens. Ik geloof het wel. Hier, een bot met tv, veel te kunnen. Wat doen jullie hier, hoor? Ja, met Paul Groot filmen. Hè? Paul Groot? Ja. Wat is dat? Ah, je mandje? Hij mist een mandje. Je nou, Sonja? Ah, nou, alleen als ik zin heb. Wat is nieuw? Nee, ja. Ik weet niet, ik wil mijn hersen niet laten rijden. En nou, Paul Blanca? Hm? En nou, Blanca? Die is dood. En Mepeltorp? Ook. Wat hebben we Peter Gielen? Ik heb een kinderdiscotheek. Ik ga ik weer opzoeken. Ja. En uh, Bud? Moet je iets nog drinken? Het is weer een recordswimmer. Budweiser. Budweiser. Ja. 